So here it is, back by popular demand, Battle of the Beers. And in the red corner, we have from Camden Town Brewery, we have a bottle of their Camden Hells coming in at 4.6% ABV. And in the blue corner, we have a bottle of Brewdog's Lost Lager coming in at 4.7% ABV. So, who is going to be the winner of this Battle of the Beers? It's Beer O'Clock and back by popular demand, we have Battle of the Beers. And in this instalment we have two heavyweights, and in the red corner we have Camden Hells coming in at 4.6% ABV. And in the blue corner, we have Brewdog's Lost Lager coming in at 4.7% ABV. Now, the concept of Battle of Beers is quite easy. There's five rounds. Um, a beer can be awarded a point in each round. At the end of the rounds, the beer with the most amount of points wins. Now they can draw a round, and if that's the case, they get a point each. Um, the rounds are simple. Basically, the first round is the appearance of the bottle, the marketing um, is the first round. You know, which one is more appealing? The second round, we pour the beer into the glasses, and we take a look at the beer and see what it's like and award points accordingly. And then the third um, round is the aroma. So we get the aromas of the beer and see that, that you know they actually smell like they're meant to be. Um, the fourth one is the best bit, it's the tasting of the beer. And we taste the beers and we award points on that. And then finally, we've got the, um, the most important round really, which is the price factor. And that is how much these beers cost. How many, how many pennies out of your wage packet are they going to cost you to buy? Um, each round is started with the trusty bell. So, without further ado, let's start. So, round one, appearance of the bottles. Right, so start with the blue corner. Lost Lager. Well, this is a 660ml bottle. You can buy this in 330ml cans. You can also buy it in 330ml bottles, I do believe. Um, it's a label tactile. Um, it's a brown bottle. It's a nice big letters on there. Brewdog Lost Lager. You know, you know, you know what you're getting if you uh, if you walk up to this and pick this off the supermarket shelf. And oh yeah, it's got the Brewdog Lost Lager, right? dry hopped pilsner 4.7 percent it's got all the information a bit of blurb on the back yeah yeah looks okay then in the red corner we go over to the camden hills again it's a tactile label there's a bit of a feel to it says what it says on there doesn't it camden hills lager um 660ml 4.6 percent you know it's got everything on there and the blurb on the back so that again, it's got everything you want there. Um, they also do this in a 330ml bottle and a 330ml can. So you've got a choice there as well. Um, looking at them both, we'll put them up to the camera. They stand out, they're bold. Um, you're not gonna miss these on the supermarket shelves, are you? I think, oh, in honest to God, right, um, Looking at the way they've they've done the labelling on this bottles, um, they stand out in their own little way. Um, I don't think you can split them. I don't think you can split them on the market inside here. Um, no, I think there's a point each definitely um, on this. It's it's neck and neck on the first round. So then let's move into round two. Round two. Let's get the beers into the glasses. So there's the blue corner. Let's get the lost lager into a glass. There we 
go and let's get to the Camden Hells into a glass. Now, first impressions on the beer. So this is the Lost Lager. Take a look at it. It's a lovely straw coloured, which you can expect with a lager. Stroke Pilsner. Um, lovely carbonation in there. And this is a non-nucleated glass, so you can see there's plenty of carbonation in there. And it's got a good three finger white frothy head. Camden Hills. Again, it's that straw coloured that you can expect with a, a Hells or a Lager. Pills, it's, a, it's the colour you want it to be. It's got a three finger white frothy head. And again, look at the carbonation. And this is a non nucleated glass. So, beer wise, impressions. I don't think we can split them. I think it's, a, it's a, another one point each. Top them up again to get the aromas. There we go. Right, so round three the aromas. So we start off with the brew dog and let's get the aromas of this beer. It smells grassy, it's Peppery. Citrusy. You know, it smells like a lager. Pilsner. You know, it's it's got all the traits. They say this is a dry hopped Pilsner. They use the German sapphire hops. Bavarian yeast, you know, and it just screams out. Yeah, it, it, it screams out. You know, you could put this up to your nose and you know this smells like a good German lager stroke pilsner. Because um, the confusing side of the matter is that it, they call it lost lager. Then they say about it being a, a dry hot pilsner, <laughs> you know, so it's a, it's a bit of a... A Franken beer, I would call it. Um, so let's go on to the, the Camden Hells. Uh, the Camden Hells smells exactly similar, right? Now they use um, a Pilsner malt, right? And they use the Pearl and Heller Tower traditional um, hops, Bavarian hops. That again, it smells grassy. Um, it's a peppery back end. You can really smell the malts in it. Um, Oh yeah. The Camden Hills has a stronger aroma than the Brewdog. Really, even though the Brewdog's got a nice aroma to it. It is not as strong, not so pronounced as the Hells. I am going to award this round to Camden Hells on the aroma. It's definitely a better, stronger, more pronounced aroma from the Camden Hells than what you're getting from the Brewdog Lost Lager. So the winner of this round is Camden Hells putting it at 3-2 at the moment in, in, in the, in, towards the Camden Hells. So 3-2 as we stand. So let's move into round four. Round four, which is 
the tasting. Let's start off with the brew dog. Let's give this a good taste. Now, the taste of this, it's dry, it's bitter. You can really taste the malts. The bitterness of the hops. It's grassy and you're getting a peppery lemon pepper sort of back end to it. At the end, at the end of the sip, it, it's dry like a Pilsner should be, but then it disperses. It's not really giving you that, that long dry finish that you sort of get with a lot of good German Pilsners. It's nice, it's flavoursome. It just, that dryness at the end just, just ends. It just, like, like, like someone's turned the switch off. Camden Hells. You're getting the malt from this, the grassiness, the bitterness of the hops. And at the back end, you're getting this dryness, this pepperiness at the back end, but it lasts. And the reason it lasts is all down to that aroma. Because of this has more pronounced aroma to it, I reckon they're using more ingredients in the Camden Hells than what they are in the Brewdog Lost Lager. It's definitely the more flavoursome beer out of the two. The dry finish at the end, the, the bitter dry finish really holds in your mouth. It makes you want to take another sip. You start off with the sweet sort of biscuity malts and then it starts getting bitter, that's the hops kicking in to this lovely peppery dry finish that, that lingers in your mouth. I now just have a taste of this just to make sure we got it right. There again, you're getting the, the sweet biscuit you malts, and then the hops kick in with the bitterness, and then you're getting to say this citrus sort of lemon pepper finish. And yeah, bang, gone, gone. It's just gone. It's no lingering dry finish like you do with the Camden Hells. Um, this round, round four is awarded to the Camden Hells, making it 4-2. Um, now, so into the final round. The price. Well, the price of each bottle in your supermarkets is 
two pound fifty each. It's a draw. Um, I haven't even seen these on specials. They seem to be two pound fifty. That's it. Um, they don't. I haven't seen them do any deals on them. Um, if you you might have seen a deal, I don't know. Um, might better tell me different. But I've not seen any deals on these beers. So they're two pound fifty each, and that basically is a draw. And so it sums it up at five three. So if we recap here, that. On marketing, on the bottles, the labels, you can't split them. Price, you can't split them. Looks, you can't split them. They both look cracking beers, you know. But it's all down to what they're putting in ingredients in these. And I don't think Brewdog is putting in crap ingredients. I don't think they're putting enough in. So I actually think it's down to um, Brewdog are just um, scrimping, um, I think, on the hops on this. That's why we're not getting this 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 dry back end because it's the hops that give this bitterness and this dry back end. And that's what I think it's down to. They're, they're trying to save a few pennies um, to make a few pounds, that's my opinion. Whereas Camden aren't, they're putting in the hops in there. So that's the difference between these two. And I think it's basically Camden's got better ingredients or more ingredients than, um, especially on hops, than what the brew dog is. And that is the difference. So look, see what you think, make what you think of this this, this video on, on the battle of the two beers. Um, you might beg to differ. You might have a different opinion. You might prefer the Lost Lager to the to the Camden Hills. Look, leave a comment below and let us know. But the clear winner here today is Camden Hills out of the two. So have a little look. Have a little try yourself, right? Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.